question. You know, when you build software, uh, what you don't want to get in the business of is custom development. Because if you don't build a scalable product, uh, you, you essentially don't build software as a service, you're a contractor. And when I was working on Speakergram, I remember, uh, I can't say who, a, a big name social network for professionals, um, <laughs> was asking for certain types of functionality that was specific to them. And, you know, when we were thinking about it, it was, okay, we could do some custom development for them to get them to use the product. But at the end of the day, um, we didn't think it was applicable to everybody else. Now, what we should have done was we should have been in talks with five other different types of Fortune 500 companies similar to them to understand if those other people would use it too and simply say, hey, you know, we, we're not in the business of doing customer development. We're going to get back to you in a week and we're going to talk to some other folks. Or would you even go back to the, the Cutco example, would you have five other communications directors at any other company that you would put us in touch with? We never even asked for that, right? Imagine how we asked that and that, that person might have said, absolutely, I'll put you in touch with this one and that one and this one and that one, and we never even asked for it. Um, when you're dealing with a consumer business, especially a scalable services business, you know, making sure each experience is uh, pleasant, is exactly what the customer wanted, is extremely challenging. And if you look at our Yelp reviews, uh, we've got, I think it's over 60, five but stars. Yelp highs. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all five-star reviews <laughs> because the... the what we have to beat is not that is not that high. The bar is not that high for traditional <laughs> self storage, and even if it's just listening to customers when they call us up and saying, you know, I had someone pass in my family and we need to store away their things, and then our our customer happiness team sends them just like a condolences card that says we're cool. sorry for your loss, and we include that you know in a make space drop off. Like even just I say it candidly, like just giving a shit, it goes a long way in a service business, and I think a lot of um, you know, the inspiration that I, that I take for our business comes from Zappos. You know, they took a commodity and added something that wasn't a commodity, which was the customer service. We still have to kind of almost in reverse add the customer service to something that isn't a commodity. And that's where technology can actually come in. So making that, that process, that make space uh, drop off, pick up as uniform, as standard, as, as, as easy as possible is really what helps us continue to satisfy customers. But there are times, you know, we get one-offs all the time that customers have questions about, but that might, or, you know, that, that they want us to do something different, but that might just be our differentiator in that um, then they go in and they spread that, you know, word of mouth or on Yelp and they say, hey, look, these guys accommodated me, you know, the day before th Christmas. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, I left my ornaments in a, I, I, by the way, I couldn't believe it. They literally left their Christmas ornaments. It was Christmas Eve was on a Tuesday, and it was Monday, and, the, and we, we, weren't, we didn't have anyone open, and our, our warehouse was shutting early, and we were like, we jumped in a zip car, and it cost us way more money than what we charged them for the delivery, but that wasn't the point. The point was that their make space, you know, their stuff in make space had to be available, and even though um, it wasn't available at that time, one day it should be available, and the best uh, example I can give, or the best uh, kind of um, the best thing that I've heard what came from Paul Graham, which is he says, you know, do things that don't scale. Going and picking up one person's, one person's box of Christmas ornaments the day before Christmas Eve is not something that scales. We had to pay separate, separately for it. It cost us more money than we, when we made. But I'm sure that person right now is still talking about how MakeSpace saved Christmas.